Hi, and welcome to another edition of Oppression Finds by Five Cat Thrift. And today I was on my way to an Elm Grove thrift store called St. Mary's that I really like. I thought it was 50% off, it was not, that's okay. I still ended up going there. Um, but on my way, I found a really, really good estate sale. I can't believe this happened to me two weeks in a row, but I stumbled upon another estate sale that was basically a hoarder's house. They had so many things that were vintage. It was insane. So much glassware. Just the amount of glassware and glass in that house, it made me kind of nervous because I did take my baby in there. Luckily, there was an entire room of just clothes and clothing boxes. So that was the room I spent the majority of my time in and she was able to just kind of ping pong around in there and she's fine. She actually got a couple things for herself, like this really cool Milwaukee County um, vintage kids sunglasses. They're like $18 at the zoo, but they threw them in for her because she was being so well behaved. So let me get into it right away. So like I said, I did stop at St. Mary's in Elm Grove and I did pick up a few things. It wasn't 50% off like I thought it was, but it was 50% off of one item. So, and it was the most expensive item too, which I thought was pretty cool. We um, need more Christmas lights. So I grabbed this huge bag of Christmas lights and I'm really hoping it's not super tangled. It was $8 for all this, which is pretty reasonable for Christmas lights. I also did decide to pick up a bunch of baby clothes because she's growing like a weed and we constantly need baby clothes. This was only like four dollars and it's a cute little baby gap sweater which I thought was really nice. This I think was also, this was five dollars but her grandpa rides motorcycles and has been a big tough biker for a long time so I think he will appreciate seeing her in this and again for five dollars it's Harley Davidson. We all know the H and the D stand for hundred dollar. Um, this also, I feel like, um, I like black, so I would like her to wear more black. This might be, like, on the verge. It says it's 4T, but it might be on the verge of not fitting her. And also, Grandpa seems to really like seeing her in flannels. I know this is a little boy shirt, but I think if I paired it with, like, a cute little girly white sweater, this would actually still work out pretty well for her. So, this is the hat that I got 50% off. It is a gorgeous vintage cowboy hat, and I really like that it had the leather strap underneath it. Fortunately for me, it doesn't fit me, so I was a little bit sad about that because it's pretty small, but like, look at the inside. It's gorgeous. It's fur. And so I looked up, it was actually made in Milwaukee, which I was surprised. So it was made on 70th Street and it's Hall Saddle Saddlery. I didn't find any comps because I don't think that's a place that would have, it's not like it's Stetson or something, but again, the hat is gorgeous and it's super cool. I have sold cowboy hats consistently and consistently well so I kind of just pick them up and even at $15 I was willing to buy it because it's real fur and it's really pretty it's super gorgeous I kind of wish it fit me because this little leather strap is just an awesome touch I love it so that was a really good find you don't find them with the feathers like that that much it's like truly from the 70s when you find them my baby found this book and kept playing with it and then she started like almost ripping it apart and I'm like I guess we're gonna buy that I think they threw it in. And I also thought that um, Christmas stuff was 50% off, which was stupid. It was obviously Halloween. But I don't know, these candles are pretty cool. They're in great condition. They aren't used. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then they still have like who they're made by and they were made in South Africa. So I'm probably gonna list these and not keep them because I don't really have any taper candle holders because taper candle holders are messy and all of you out there who are brave enough to use them, fucks to you. All right, so on to the stuff that I got at the estate sale. So I picked up a lot of kids stuff there. Cerise has been super into abacuses lately. There's an abacus at the local um, library that we always go to. So she's really been into it. This one's got, I mean, she really just sits there and goes like this, but whatever. I think um, it's still like a good educational thing. And then there were these adorable little baby blocks down here. So I grabbed this because it just seemed like a good deal. I think they gave it to me for two bucks. And they had so many vintage toys there, it was insane. So I also got her this, which my school had these when I was learning how to do addition. And I'm horrible at math. I am like straight up the worst. So it's kind of cool because you push the number down and it tells you the answer. So it's a little bit of a memorizational thing, but I don't know, it helped me and it made me feel like not such an idiot. So again, I think they only charged me two bucks for this. So worth it and we'll see. Educational toy, I suppose. They had a ton of really cool Packers um, sweatshirts there, but they knew what they were worth. They had a lot of them marked at $25. 
or even like 40 because they had the, they had a really cool one where it was the Patriots versus Green Bay, which I don't even remember when that was, but I'm sure it was Tom Brady and I'm sure he kicked everybody's ass. But they also had um, like uh, Brett Favre stuff and they had some really cool old um, brewer stuff. But again, they really knew what they had. And I only had like $55 actually. This, I had to put stuff back at this estate sale too, but luckily not as bad as last week's estate sale. But they did have this adorable Miami Dolphins sweatshirt, which I thought was pretty cute. Obviously it's a youth. Um, this definitely vintage. It's from 1993 and they only, and I swear to God, this is because we're in Wisconsin and they only charged me $2 for it. It's still, it's still probably worth as much as the Green Bay ones, but whatever, I suppose they know their clientele. All right, so this I saw, and I believe is it, yep, as I was walking out, I noticed that it had a broken leg at one point in time, and somebody glued it back together, which is totally fine, because I have a true, his ears aren't even chipped, but his leg broke, that's totally fake, oh, this one, yeah, hmm, oh well. Um, so he was at $4, he probably would have been more expensive if he hadn't been broken, but I have a sick obsession with horses. Um, if you follow me on my Instagram page, you will see that I take um, pictures oftentimes in front of the huge collections. So yeah, sick obsession. I wish this one hadn't had a broken leg. I'm sure they would have charged me more than $5 had it been in better condition because I don't usually see glass ones this big and this is from Japan. So this is vintage. Oh, there's a little chip on his heel. That's okay. His ears are in great condition. Ears are always the ones to go in the main. Somebody must have just been playing too hard with him and broke it a little. Oh my gosh, the glue's almost coming off too. Whatever. I love this. This is going in my horse collection. It is what it is. I don't even think I have room for him in my horse collection, but I'll make it work because he's gorgeous. All right, so they had a bunch of really cool purses that I really liked, and I was looking at them, and there were... There were a lot of brands in there that I didn't know, but this one was really pretty. So this is Christina and it felt like really super high quality. I haven't even run any comps yet on it. So I'll probably put some up over here as I'm editing this video, but it like folds over really cool. It feels like just really high quality. It's in good condition. It's clearly vintage um, and it's made in Italy. So I grabbed this one. I think it was like four bucks. I figured that was totally worth it. I will definitely make more money than that. And it's just like a really cool purse. I'll be interested to see what it comes out at because it's pretty adorable overall. I like it. I dig it. I think it's cool. Oh, this was random too. I don't know what they charged me for this, but I thought this was like the coolest little wallet. It was super cute. I don't even, yeah. Oh man. The but look at how cool the snap button is and you can like I guess as it gets bulkier, probably, there's multiple, like, options on what to snap it into. But, yeah, this is just a really cute coin purse. It's got the tooled leather on it. And overall, it's in, like, really good condition. So there were a ton of wallets there, which, again, it was really hard to, like, everything was, like, four bucks. It was, like, four bucks and down for, like, most of the clothes. I did go a little crazy on um, silk scarves. So they had a ton of silk scarves, just, like, a ton. Like, look at how pretty this is. There isn't any labeling or marking on it, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get for this, but this is definitely, I'm pretty sure this is silk. It's not marked as silk, but it's gorgeous. This person had really good taste. There was some beautiful stuff in there. Um, this was the first one that I saw, and I definitely grabbed this one right away. This is um, a Millenni. This one I'm pretty sure had a tag too. So it says Millennium all over it. Um, oh, this one's polyester, so maybe I shouldn't get too excited about these, but it was made in Italy. So that is definitely what made me think to get this. So some of these might actually be polyester, but again, look at how pretty these are. This one's from New York and this one, this one's polyester too. All right. So these are probably polyester and not silk, but they're just so pretty. And they're the big, like fancy scarves that like most people want. This one's really pretty. I don't think there was any tags on this one, but this one is like so gorgeous. Like the pattern is just really pretty and it's really big. Yeah, I don't think this one had any tags on it, but that's okay. So it was still really pretty. All right, I think that's probably it for my scarves. What is this? Okay, I don't remember grabbing that. Whatever. Whatever. The baby needs to grab that. This was another baby grab. I hope they didn't charge me too much for these because that was something I didn't need. Oh, uh, I liked this sweater. I thought this was really cool. It says, ladies, high fashion. Feminine. Um, it's a large, and I just thought it was like a really cool, like this could be like a Christmas sweater, but not really. And it's in pretty good condition. This person, however, had a real infinity for cutting tags off. So there were a ton of things there that were vintage, but they did not have the tags on them. And due to the fact that I only had like 50 some dollars, I didn't really want to risk it. So that's okay. 
Um, but this one was pretty cool. So I grabbed this one. I'm pretty sure that was only like four bucks too. I don't know if they charged me for this one. This one personally, I really like. I don't, yeah, this one had a tag in it. So mode KY, again, vintage, but like, oh, look at the beading and I love black sweaters. So this one I might actually keep for myself and I do keep this one for myself. There's one that I already know my collection that I'm gonna get rid of to replace it with this one because this is just really pretty. I just really like it. It's subtle, it's very subtle. Subtle vintage. All right, so then another thing that I decided to start grabbing, and I didn't even, I probably could have ran comps on this, but I didn't. There's this beautiful plastic um, tablecloth. I don't even know, in the United States, so it's definitely it's American Greetings. It's bought at the Drug Emporium for $1.11. But I grabbed some of this stuff that was still new in bag. This I thought wasn't plastic, but like it's still really pretty. So I'll have to, um, Leak proof satin finish drapes like linen. So, I mean, that seems like pretty good. So, I grabbed that and I grabbed some of the other items that were still new in bag, like these vintage. This pattern is just so pretty, but it's um, they're flannel sheets and they're uh, cotton, cotton flannel. So, they're really pretty and they're new in bag. Pretty sure they only charged me like two bucks for these, and I got two of them. So they're double flat. I don't even know what size bed they are. They might just be the sheet. But either way, I thought I would grab them because, yeah, these are definitely vintage and they're pretty cool. I don't see, again, made in the United States. That's how you know it's vintage. And then last but not least, this really gorgeous country, what is it, country lattice um, tablecloth set that was in here. It was $1.99 and, yeah, this is pretty old so pretty excited about that and last but not least this is definitely something that we are keeping and i think that my child my child fell in love with this um she has something similar to this at her grandparents house and she scoots all over the place in but the one that her grandparents have is new this is a vintage little cycle and i cannot wait she's taking a nap right now and she was playing with it when we were about to check out she absolutely loved it i also love that somebody added this random cowbell to it she was playing with that too so i think it's all pretty fun i mean it's it's broken i mean you could obviously in some places like i don't even know if these come off anymore i mean this little piece is kind of busted some kid went and put a whole bunch of stickers on them there were so many kid toys there it was pretty insane but yeah there's this is so cool. I'm pretty excited and I think um, Spruce will play with this maybe for two years? Let's shoot for two years. So between this and her big wheel, I think she's pretty set. So that is everything. Please like and subscribe. Um, let me know what you like in the comments. Tell me what you think about all these fun finds. Um, please follow me on Instagram. I try to post um, when I am there what I'm doing and how it went and what it looked like on my Instagram account. That is also Podcat Thrift. And then if you like some of this stuff and you want to purchase some of it, like the tablecloth or the sheets, which will be up in my eBay store, check out Five Cat Thrift, which is my eBay store. And then also Five Cat Thrift on Poshmark, which mostly houses all of my clothing that I get. So if you have any, well, I think that's it. Um, yeah, horrible ending. Totally bad. Totally lost my train of thought. That's okay. Take care till next time.